Hello and welcome. This is the Pythonic Accountant. And today I'm going to show you how to install Miniconda, which is the distribution package we'll be using for Python on our Windows machines. And it's a great way to get Python uh, to be working very quickly, very easily, and to set up environments with all of the, the various libraries that we need, as we'll show you in later videos. Windows machines sometimes can be a little, little finicky when it comes to getting environments stood up and uh, working correctly. So this should hopefully help. So first thing you'll do is navigate to uh, the Miniconda site. So you can just go to Miniconda download and the first link should be this one here. And you'll want Python 3.7 because Python 2.7 is legacy Python and no longer supported in 2020. So Python 3.7 is what you want. Um, and I've already downloaded the Miniconda Windows 64-bit version, so you can get the correct version for your computer. And I've already uh, installed it on my computer too, but this is what the window looks like. Once you downloaded the file, open it up, navigate through, click I agree, um, just me is fine, and then select your location and go ahead and you don't have to select either of these and click install. So I've already installed it. So once you have it installed, you're going to open up the Miniconda prompt. So if you do the Windows key and type in mini, it should give you this ability to pop up the Anaconda prompt. It'll say Miniconda 3. And here what, what we're going to do now is just test that it's working correctly. So we're going to type in Python and it should pop up with this nice little Python information here and the three carats here. And let's type uh, print parentheses, hello world. And make sure your quotes are in the right place and you close it with a close parentheses and it should say hello world now you've downloaded python got it on your computer and you are ready to rock and roll so to exit out of here you can click the x on the top right or you can click type exit open close parentheses and then if you want to exit